The Denver Broncos cross the country on short rest to face the reeling New York Jets, with early odds opening New York as a slim one-point home favorite. While Denver still has to host Kansas City Monday, this Broncos team is a bad bet on the road, going just 5-12 against the spread away from mile high since 2016, including losing and failing to cover in their lone road outing this season. But we have a Jets team getting outscored 72-41 over three straight losses, 0-3 ATS in that span, and that week one win over the Lions looks like it was a lifetime ago. Yeah, it seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Interesting movement here, minus one. We're even seeing now minus two early action showing up on the Jets. I think a lot of it has to do with Denver's defense. They're not dangerous anymore. So through 2014, 2016, they had a total 79 takeaways. That dropped to 17 last year on the season, and through four games so far, just three takeaways. They're not scaring anybody anymore. No. Now the Jets, on the other hand, you know, Darnold came into a tough situation. He was up against the best defense in the league on the road. Didn't have a great game, but yeah. didn't make any mistakes. He didn't have any turnovers. The Jets' defense, it's kind of, they're catching my eye here. 10 takeaways on the season so far. They were, they were very active last week against Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. They're a dangerous defense. They're kind of stepping up and, and, and becoming, yeah, they're becoming that defense that makes a big difference. Okay. Yeah, I think this one can get ugly on uh, on offense. Both of these teams have really struggled, and both these quarterbacks have really struggled. Sam Darnold, you know, he threw the pick six, came back in that first game, looked like he was a, like a good quarterback. Mm -hmm. Since then, I have him third worst by EPA. The two quarterbacks he's ahead of, Sam Bradford, Terod Taylor. That's, that's not a good situation. Meanwhile, Case Keenum has actually not been much better. I have him also in the negatives on EPA per dropback. The guy below him is Josh Allen. That's not a good spot to be in. I mean, this this over under number is not very high. I have 43 and a half, but I like the under in this one. Now, how many interceptions there for? Keenum has five intercepts, interceptions. I mean, how many touchdowns? Uh, four, I think. Yeah. 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 It's been a rough season. Well, Jets could take take big advantage of those ones. So. There you go. Like we said, the total for this one is set at 43 and a half points.